Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'd like to share with you an awesome Dollar Tree haul that I did. Um, it is the end of the year and the start of a new year. And so I went to the Dollar Tree just to see if there were any great buys and I was more than surprised at what I found. Um, the Dollar Tree wasted no time jumping to the new year. I was actually able to find some seeds. Um, anybody who has watched my channel know that I have an herb garden, what I am very proud of. And um, I've actually found some seeds like parsley seeds, uh, green beans, basil, sage, and bell peppers. So I was very happy to find these and they were four for a dollar. So this is a great find. They are seeds by American Seed. and. Believe it or not, that does make a difference. You want to have a good seed. I've tried American seeds and my plants grew wonderfully. So this was a very great find for me. Next, I found these great candle holders. Now, I always see candle holders in the Dollar Tree, but not like these. Um, they have this copper look finish, which I think is gorgeous. And so, um, I have large candles that I definitely need um, a candle holder for them and I can just sit them on there and I think these are just beautiful. So I got two of those. And for the kitchen, I picked up just a couple of gadgets. One thing I realized in my kitchen of all these years of having my kitchen, I never ever had a pasta server. And the only reason why I got this, my daughter's home from college and the first thing she asked for is spaghetti and meatballs. So I saw this pasta server. So I will be using this. And I found this beautiful scrub brush. I mean, they had all kinds. Of, had, this is a ladybug, of course. And I can see it sits right perfectly on your, you know, sit right perfectly on your sink. I got the ladybug because, um, I don't know, I just have this thing about bugs. If you all notice, I have like little uh, ants in my kitchen and stuff like that. Um, so I thought this would be very nice on my countertop and it's great for dishes. And that's just what I got it for at the Dollar Tree. This to me was an awesome find. Okay, so I ran in the Dollar Tree uh, probably about a four, three or four days ago, just to kind of see what I found. And I found these awesome Woodcraft candles. They smell very good. Um, I, you know, picked up about two of them. Didn't think anything of it, but until I burnt it. Not only does it have a wood wick, it crackles and it smells divine, especially this one. I got a couple of these. Um, this one is the uh, scent of a crackling fire. It smells like a crackling fire and it sounds like a crackling fire. So it is a very good buy for a dollar. Anybody know Woodwick candles are very expensive. So yes, these are small. It gets the same results, same results, except you only pay one dollar. Um, now I also found this Woodwick candle. This is an apple chai. So this smells very good too. Same thing. Crackles smells good. So I picked up a couple of these. Um, this one I got was Garden Violets. Don't let that name fool you. It smells wonderful. So I got this one, the Apple Chai, and the Crackling Fire. So I got a lot of the Crackling Fire. I don't know. It's just something about the smell of this in my bedroom. I love it. Also, another great find, and I'll save that one to last, one of my best great finds. But I did find this lip balm, balm this lip balm. Um, I thought it was a very good find because two reasons. It's shaped like an apple, and it is a apple scented lip balm. Um, you know, before I apply my lipstick, I always put on a lip balm. So this is very, very good deal to me. I think this is a very good deal. Um, just because it's so cute, it can sit on the dresser. It can sit on uh, anywhere I put it on, on in my house. Um, also, 
I can fit it in my purse. So this works. Again, speaking of beauty, I have this uh, Age Defy Dark Spot Corrector. This dark spot corrector, we'll just open it up here. It actually, um, you can use it on skins for like scars. Uh, it has a roller on it like that. Look at that. And you can use it on your skin or on your hand for, you know, any kind of scars, anything. I basically got it for my face, you know, where I have some blemishes and I'm going to try that. So I thought it was worth the try. And it was only one dollar. So I'm gonna definitely give this a try. Also, I just picked up a couple of brushes by e.l.f. that was in the Dollar Tree. Now I know we can always get um, e.l.f. brushes for a dollar, but I have a hard time. One time I found a concealer brush and I only I only have one, I want two. So I found another concealer brush. And then this is a something new by elf and it's the smudge um the smudge eye sponge so um i just want to pick these up they were very convenient to have two very unique brushes that i really wanted and i always don't find them in walmart or wherever they sell elf products so i was glad to get these also found some sandpaper actually uh it's a sandpaper set I think it's about 36 sheets in here hubby is going to be doing a lot of woodcraft work and um, you know this was a good sign for him so he picked this up while he was there at the Dollar Tree and some of the woodwork of things I would have him to do for me so we were glad to get this glad we was able to get this sandpaper never too early to get the best Valentine cards at the Dollar Tree um, I was able to find cards for almost every member of my family. Beautiful cards. American greeting cards. These are forget-me-not. These are beautiful cards. Um, just, you know, for people in my family. I mean, not just my husband, but for my grandchildren. Um, here is one I thought that was so cute for my grandson. Here is a mush-free card. No hugs, no kisses. Because as soon as grandma see him, you know I got to give him all the smooches and he just runs from me. I, so I know I smooched that child to death. So I thought this was an appropriate card for him. It's actually a card for a young child. So I got that for him. Um, my other grandson was able to find one for him. Um, I got a card for my sister. I got a card for my granddaughter. And I can go on and on, but I will not. But I was very pleased. I always read the cards to make sure they fit that person and actually fit the relationship and how a relationship is. And these cards are perfect. And the Dollar Tree cards are, except the um, forget-me-nots, they are $1. Um, but the other cards, like the ones I got for my grandson, the one I got for my sister, those are two for a dollar. And the description of them are beautiful. They are absolutely beautiful. So I was very happy to get those. That way we don't have to be scrambling. Because the 14th of February will be here a lot faster than you think. And finally, the actually they had it on display for the item of the week. And it is pillow pets. Now you know I had to get these for my grandbabies. It is the peewee, but my grandbabies are peewee, and it's perfect. So, you know, um, I got the pillow pets. I got three of them. They had all different kinds, but this is all they had left, and I'm fine with that. Um, it could be for, this is red. It'll go for my granddaughter, my grandson. And I kind of like the red one, even though it was the only one that was left at that particular Dollar Tree. Um, the lady told me that they had bumblebees. Um, all kind of different ones but this is a peewee pillow pet but for one dollar guys I have no complaints so this will be going to my grandbabies um, when I see them again I got three of them and I thought this was an awesome find I mean for one dollar there you go guys a pillow pet I am very very satisfied with the things that I found at Dollar Tree this week so thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you like this haul. 
and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!